Hey there, my name is Promise. Welcome back to more Ixian aboard the Tycoon Space Station. Last video is the first time we actually were struggling to survive, but I think we finally more or less got it solved. We are getting all of our industry up and running. We are now producing a lot of extra alloys, which is what we are lacking. That's the big bottleneck. We're doing great on food. I do need more people, but the cryonic pods are being opened up bit by little bit, so we'll be okay. So there's a couple more priorities we need to focus on right now. We need to get our steel back up and running so we can upgrade more houses, get our stability figured out so we stop losing trust. We do not like the way that this is currently sitting. We also do want to place down... The Waste Reclamation Center, which I should have somewhere, I thought, is it under maintenance? Where is it? Oh, we never actually researched it. Well, let's go ahead and research that now, but this is something we're going to need pretty darn soon. And we also would like to get the DLS Center, which is going to allow us to start acting social policies that are going to influence our people and should allow us to get some sector specializations and such set up. All of that is going to be very, very helpful and important to me. As far as some more space exploration, we've let that fall a little bit. There should be an important sector over here, which is going to make more progress toward our overall objective of discovering where the Protagoras went. So let's go ahead and move that one over there. And there's still nothing we want to do around Parenti. I really regret sending the Heisenberg. My opinion, y you shouldn't be locked into this. You really, really shouldn't. It just doesn't make a lot of sense. We could go ahead and do this now. 60 alloys is so much. But at least now that we're in the positive, I feel like we can do this. And I kind of have to, believe it or not. Because um, right now the science ship is sitting over here, the Heisenberg. You can see it's HP. And it hasn't had a chance to come home to repair for a long time. If we sit here for too much longer, the ship will literally blow up. So what do we discover around Fargo? Uh, well, we can at least send the Gannett station over here and get some more science, which I know I'm going to need. And do 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 we'll get this finished out soon. Then the DLS center, yes, all of that'll be good. We could also get a mushroom wall, by the way, which is something you can place against the edge of the station, and it's a way of producing a little bit of extra food. Not uh, super high priority, but it's not bad either. Okay, we've unlocked technology waste center. Let's go for the DLS center as of next. That's gonna take the rest of my science, but that's fine. So, can we fit this? Actually, yes, it fits about perfectly right here. What do you know? Yep, that is exactly something we want to build. 95 alloys! That's a lot of alloys. Now, we've arrived around Fargo, but I actually don't want to do anything with this yet. It is going to get my ship locked down. For now, I just wanted the science, and we'll try to get back home if we can. We'll come back to this later, but there's a tech we need to get. I happen to know the best reward comes from first unlocking the exoskeletons, which is going to cost us another 30 science. There's another place we can launch a probe. It's going to be out in this general area right over here. That should be safe for us. Still waiting for the last of these alloys to be delivered. Really hope that the Heisenberg is going to be able to hold out over here. There's the DLS center. We're going to need one of these in every sector. That is critical for us. It is unfortunately just a little on the bigger side. So I'll we'll have to get rid of another one of these insect farms, but that's fine. We're still looking really good on food. And frankly, freeing up a little bit of extra alloys is a good idea right now. How are we doing on food with that taken down? We're actually, it says not making much, but I think that's between cycles. We have enough that we're at 106%. As long as I do not grow out our population anymore, and I shouldn't need to for at least a bit... This should be fine. We're still treading water. We have a pretty darn good stockpile working for us. And notice that our alloy production has skyrocketed. We're now up to 144, which means there's more that I can do. Let's go ahead and get that waste treatment center built up. I know that's expensive, but it's important. We'll get that because look at all this waste, for example, that's been generated and is now just getting tossed out an airlock. Terrible deal. Terrible deal. Got a new event over here. Pledge to restore the hold of 58%. That's not happening. Um, however, uh, big issue, we had some trust fall because we fell below 25%. You really don't want your hold to ever fall below 25%. That's kind of where our equilibrium is right now. So we'll build back up to this and get our trust okay, but that's a little bit dangerous. We discovered something. A suitable planet for a colonization test program. Really? Deville? Cruella Deville! Beautiful! Um, I don't know if we want to do anything with this right now. We don't have the tech. But I can at least get 15 more science out of the arrangement. 
We finish with a wind dispersal around Parenti 85. We get 75 more science out of the arrangement. Nice. And finally, the Heisenberg can go back to the Tycoon Station. Sorry to leave you there for so long, guys, but there we go. Problem solved. All right. 75 more science plus the 15 over here. That's fantastic. That's going to let us get an additional upgrade for something. Plus, we'll be able to unlock something totally new if that's something I want. Legislative Strengthening Center plus two stability. If the stability is below zero, it's not bad per se. Um, I need to think about what I would need to get. Probably the exoskeletons, actually, because that would let me do something around Fargo. Okay, we have a waste treatment center set up. There's not a lot for me to do with this at the very brief moment, so we'll turn that off because, well, I take that back. Can we do something with it? How many workers do I have? Enough. We can turn this on to try and get a little bit of extra alloy out of the arrangement. Um, if we really want to take advantage of this, though, we have to have that DLS center, which is why I'm trying to get this thing constructed. This is going to allow us to manage a waste policy in our station, so we can transfer stuff around and turn this into a giant trash recycling area. Now, again, there's unfortunately nothing we can do around DeVille right now without the colonization training center, but I can take the Gannet over here to Parenti. The Gannet's at good health, so we're okay on that. We'll pick up the 75 science that I was looking for. As far as some tech, let's go to the science ship and let's research those exoskeletons I was talking about. Okay, so we have our DLS center. This opens up a whole new thing, the data listening system policies. And you can see here, we have a lot of stuff we could do. If I wanted to set up some intense propaganda, for example, we could do this and boost up our stability. In a pinch, not a bad idea. We can reduce the amount of food that people are consuming. We can have longer working hours, so there's more uh, workers or fewer workers required. We can have body recycling to turn corpses into waste. I mean, hopefully no one dies, but there you go. Cryopod awakening, workers first. That reduces stability by a ton. Infirmaries, so our capacity goes up and we're piling up. Starving population, keep it working, or... We can go for waste recycling, which is going to reduce stability further. Waste can then be stored in some stockpiles. That is tempting and something we are going to need to do at some point, but maybe not when my trust is already looking kind of awful. As far as I know, there's no downside to going for some intensive propaganda, though. So we're going to go ahead and do this. This is going to take a little while before I can go for another reset in, um, or rather a second policy, but for now, this makes people happy because we're telling them they should be, which means my trust is finally going back up. Butamus. Okay, you can see we're now making a load more hull points. I actually don't know that I want to have this on right now. So we're going to turn this off. It's going to bring us back down toward that equilibrium, but this does mean we're back over 25%. So in a pinch... I'm now able to turn this thing on. I do want to get the DLS center set up over here as well. That's going to be helpful because it gets me plus one uh, society stability just from having it, even if I don't turn on the more intensive propaganda. We also did manage to get our upgrade for the science ship. So what do I want next? Uh, good question. Let me think. Um, steel mills can still not get upgraded with anything I care about. Let's take a look for any really important upgrades. Something I could be missing that I'd really benefit from. Reorganization of care is nice, but not absolutely crucial. Advanced logistics just lets me uh, feed more people. There's more accelerated growth for insects, but I think we've decided we don't care about that. The workshops, new, no, don't care about that. Solar panels, you know, wouldn't be a bad idea to get some upgrades here at some point. But considering how precious science is, I think what I'm gonna do is go ahead and research the colonization training center. That is something I know we're going to need to do at some point, so we might as well get her upgraded. Okay, I built another farm over here, which means we're producing plenty of food in this area, which means I can now get rid of the insect farm, if that's something I choose to do. And I think I will. There's just no reason to be overproducing on food when we're looking so good right now. So we'll shut that sucker down. So, exoskeletons, just going to have to wait for that for a little bit, and we can preemptively send, let's say, the gannet over here to Fargo 39. Let's also be aware that we're running out of power pretty quickly. I probably do need to get another round of these medium solar panels. We'll do that now. And I guess I can turn you back on, well, maybe kind of temporarily at least. Um, let's, let's try not to work extra hours, but I would like to send these guys out there and build a lot faster. Uh, so that we can continue repairing the hull. I don't want this falling below 25% by accident. 
All right, just a little bit more. Just a little bit more. We can get another policy, and that's going to be fine. We can get the waste properly transferred over. And there's nobody stockpiling waste, which means nothing is happening here. This is complete waste of my time, isn't it? I'll tell you what, then. We'll turn you off, and we'll go to the polymer refinery. It's the same number of workers. We can start producing some much-needed polymers. Gosh dang it. Who got injured and why? Ah, you guys suck. Get the repaired as fast as you can, please, and thank you. Okay, and now we have to start rebuilding up to where we were before. All righty. So we have the exoskeletons. Let's go down over here to Fargo 39 and take a look-see and see what we get. Probe scans have picked up an emergency message broadcasting on the Dolos frequency. However, the transmission protocol is different to the one used by the Tycoon and its auxiliary craft. A window of opportunity appears to be opening. A temporary cessation of the high winds of Fargo 39 have given us a clear zone. We took advantage of the drop in wind speed to descend. The gravity is intense, and several of our measuring instruments have failed. Despite the extremely hostile environment, we are prepared to make a sortie to the signal location. And this is where having the exoskeletons is really, really helpful. Otherwise, you could find yourself taking a lot of pain. What do we discover around Fargo 39? We found a cargo ship of an unknown class that bears a resemblance to those we use in the Tycoon. It is embedded within the rock face below a large promenatory. The high winds are making its balance unstable. Oh boy. Well, we can recover archived digital data and return. We can survey the cargo ship and recover any data, or we can recover data from the cargo ship and attempt an EKP repair for cargo recovery. It's basically a question of how long you want to spend on this. The longer you spend, I'm pretty sure the more uh, rewards you can get out of the arrangement. So we're going to go ahead and try to recover and do everything here, I think. Um, that should be fine. We can set a new policy over here in Sector 1, finally. Let's go for the waste. Yes, this reduces stability, but that's why we have propaganda. So they don't mind that we have waste. Now that we have that set up, I can go over here, and I can say I want to have some stockpiles of waste. Cool, and as long as we got the workers, which I do, we could um, potentially start, uh, you know, recycling this stuff. Reduce, reuse, recycle. That's what I always say. What do we discover down in Fargo 39? 40 more cryopods, because you know I need more of those. <laughs> and also 30 science. Alrighty then. Well, good. That should be everything around Fargo. And more science is a very helpful thing. A transmission? Oh my, it's because we got three stages with the Protagoras. Exciting. So apparently we can now locate the Protagoras on the planetary system map via a probe scan. Really? Are you trying to tell me that it's here somewhere? Hmm, depending on if I think that it's alive, I'm questioning whether it's worth trying to look for it. Because you never know. There's a point of interest over here, by the way. Very dangerous to get to. Um, if it's dead, I imagine it's going to upset a lot of people. And I'd really rather they not go crazy on me right now. We're, we're already kind of in a tenuous situation as is. Now, amazingly, we're actually getting capped out on alloys. That is crazy to me. Let's go ahead and start working on an electronics factory, because if there's anything I'm now completely running out of that we're going to need, it's electronics. I've got five left and two projects queued up that are going to take, you guessed it, five electronics. So, we need to get this up and running. This is going to take a load of workers, which is, of course, a bit of a concern, but hopefully we'll be able to weather that storm. Let's begin another great migration away from Sector 1, where I should have a few excess workers. Bring them over here so that they'll be able to do some work. Of course some people were injured. Why not? But as long as we've got capacity, which we do, they'll be fine. Okay. Um, looking good. So with the extra electronics, what I want to build out is this colonization training center, which does have to be built on the edge of the station. With that, I'll be able to train up colonists, and colonists can start a project around DeVille 59. What have I found over here? Rokantansky D79. Oh, that's got a lot of science around it. Well, speaking of science, maybe we should spend a little bit of science here at the EBA airlock. Tell them what they need to hear, boosting up repair efficiency by 5%. That doesn't sound like much, but that extra 5% will definitely translate into a slightly higher equilibrium, which is going to end up being a good thing for me. We are, by the way, currently kind of struggling, uh, I think to gather up enough carbon and iron um, around the map. Our ships aren't moving quite fast enough for my taste. They're not prioritizing things quite the way that I would want them to. So the result is I think at some point we're gonna have some issues here. What do we find around Rokotansky D79? Oh good, more establishing of infrastructure. 50 alloys this time, but probably still gonna end up being worth it. Yeah, let's, uh, let's go ahead and deliver a bunch more alloys over here because this is a very good way of farming out a lot of excess science.
I am definitely concerned with how fast we're going through all of our iron. Uh, no, 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 no. We could get another docking bay. It would be an option for us. Um, but eh, I don't really love the idea of doing that, if I'm honest. There's 554 more in space. So, like, in theory, we can gather it up. It's mostly a matter of time. We could go to our cargo ships and actually boost up their speed by 10%. That would help a little bit. It's not an absolute ton, but it would help. What do we have down over here at Plymouth 37? It's probably going to be, yep, another uh, infrastructure thing. Cool. Well, let's go ahead and do that, I guess. Use up more alloys, get more science. So what do I want with science right now, aside from a few random upgrades? What I really want is to actually finish out all the Tier 2 science. The mere act of unlocking Tier 3 is going to unlock a lot of other good stuff. For example, alloy development, so we actually get more alloys per iron and stuff like that. Or 10 iron becomes 15 alloy, right? These are things we can do that are going to really start upgrading us a lot. So most of the best stuff can be found there. I'm going to go ahead and start building out another round of solar panels. Another 45 power seems like it's going to be necessary. We're uh, starting to take a lot out of our grid. And I'm watching very carefully as to what's happening with our uh, mining ships. I do not want these guys accidentally trying to cut, Hey, you know, let's go from the silicon down to this hydrogen and they go through the storm and die. That kind of thing can absolutely happen. Oh, what is this? Looks like we found some more science around Tetra or Tetra V8. Fun. And around Rokotansky, let me guess, we get a lot of science? We do! Plus, we get a new technology, the post decryonization treatment upgrade for our cryonic center. Fun. With the extra resources available to us, we were able to get through the ice. The cave extends deep into the comet, and gravity is even stronger within it than on the surface. Sending remote-controlled recording equipment ahead, we discovered an almost completely enclosed cavity at the cave's end, at the center of the comet. Within the cavity is a floating gray sphere, five meters in diameter. It has no discernible power source, but it does possess a strong electromagnetic field and emits a faint bluish glow. When we attempted to move the remote instrumentation closer, the sphere swallowed it, its surface becoming almost viscous. Well, that's a little concerning. Okay. Now, if I recall correctly, this is a literal death trap. Literal death trap. It swallowed things up, that's your warning. So I'm pretty sure we want to leave the planet. I know, I know. You guys want to see the disasters, but if I recall, it literally, like, kills them all and destroys the science ship. It's a complete and total loss. So, no, no. We get, we get the heck out of Dodge. Even so, that's 45 more science for me. That's pretty good. Uh, okay, here's something interesting. So, we left the twin-tailed comet with the weird sphere thing, right? But take a look at this. Claim security protocols indicate that the crew on board the Heisenberg is not the original crew. After intense questioning and observation via the ship's onboard surveillance systems, it appears that these new crew members are indeed human and possess a good knowledge of Dolo's protocol and procedure, but they stubbornly insist they've always worked on the Tycoon, yet their biometric data does not match with any crew register records. Yeah, that's a bit bizarre now, ain't it? So here's the thing. Um, we don't want to blow up the science station because I made a promise not to get anyone killed. So I'm going to update the Tycoon's manifest to allow them to use the new my biometric data. But obviously, I consider that extremely suspicious. Extremely. Nothing terribly exciting around Plymouth, I'm afraid. Um, just lots of crystalline cavities and stuff. Yeah, we're just kind of exploring alien worlds. However, upon leaving, it looks like we also find a geological formation with 60 carbon in it, which is uh, kind of nice. I, I, I guess we could investigate it. I don't remember if this does anything, actually. Eh, whatever. We're already here. Let's just investigate. Did we get anything? No, it was an optical illusion. All right. Yep. Like I thought, absolutely nothing comes out of the arrangement. That's fine. Gather up the science, though. We're getting a pretty good amount of it, and I am spending some. Again, goal. Very simple. Finished here, too. Now, fun fact, we've actually mined out everything I've discovered so far. Could launch some more probes. There are definitely more resources to be had. Carbon comes to mind. Looks like there's some more ice somewhere. We should keep doing that, but let's be very cautious about where we send them. What I actually need to do at some point is go over this direction, because you can see that there is a point of interest. However, getting there is uh, basically suicide, so we'll probably have to move the Tycoon Station up over here just so I can get into this area. Yeah, it, managing all these little details is going to get a little annoying. What's going on up over here? Ooh, that looks exciting. Let's send a probe. 
We are stockpiling a pretty good amount of waste right now. Instead of alloys, I'm actually going to turn these into just a few extra electronics, because getting enough silicon has been a bit of a challenge thus far. We are also now only 25 science away from unlocking the last tech up here. Then we just have a mystery tech. Yeah, yeah. Th this part of the game, once you hit a level of self-sustainment, um, it, it goes a little bit slow, I'm not going to lie. We're, we're waiting for a lot of science here. Wow, buddy. Hi. <coughs> Why is he so excited? <coughs> Woof, so loud. Oh, there's the Protagoras over there! All right, excellent. So, we need to send a science ship off of this direction and find out what the heck happened over here. Um, it took me a little while to find this. I sent a probe and I thought it said it was in the right area, but uh, apparently not. I'm a little bit worried about our current power situation. Uh, I'm very worried about our current iron situation. We seem to be running out of that very aggressively, but that's partly because I need to make more electronics. So we can get something like the Colonization Training Center up and a running. I've got enough electronics, we should be able to do this. And I've got just enough alloys, but uh, yeah, without more raw materials... Eh, once again, we find ourselves in kind of a nasty situation. We've arrived at the Protagoras. What do we find here? Our probe succeeded in locating it. Visuals reveal that the Dolo Station is encased in ice, not transmitting any signals. Well, that doesn't bode well. We are holding position next to the Protagoras. Its hull has been ripped open and its interior systems are severely damaged. Although the outer superstructure appears to be more advanced, its similarities to the Tycoon are striking. To access the station's main computer systems and retrieve vol coordinates, we must first break through the ice and get on board. No problem, we will drill through the ice. That's going to take five cycles. Um, if I do not get some more iron, and soon, and have a ship basically dedicated just to getting iron, I think we are going to be in a lot of trouble. So, we're going to make those the top priority for a bit until we have more of a stockpile. I've got some mining ships going out, hopefully, to drill some. Never mind, they are disabled at the moment. Uh, let's please drill out some of that iron so we have more to work with. And I got a probe over here. I feel like we're increasingly kind of at all hands on deck when it comes to this whole iron situation. One thing I can think to do that would help at least a bit, since we have a fair number of polymers, would be to unassign a science ship, since we're not actively using that right now. It doesn't get rid of the ship, it's just, you know, unassigned. And we can construct another cargo ship. Having a third cargo ship able to run some extra materials would be great. We could have two dedicated just to grabbing some iron, and let's say one dedicated to grabbing some ice. Since we're also looking like we're going to be running out of that very soon. Another thing I'm going to do is go to the recycling center and actually swap this over to alloys. Electronics are nice and all. They really, really are. But... I really value getting an extra 50 alloys at a time when we are on the verge of death, if you know what I mean. So we're going to make that the top priority. Our whole integrity is still going down, and honestly, I think I got a little bit overzealous having two EVA airlocks open for a while, repairing this unnecessarily to a pretty high level. Really wasn't any advantage to that unless we're actually planning on leaving the sector anytime soon, so I kind of wasted a lot of alloys. Oh, whoops. Let's also try looking for some more sources of iron once I have a probe available, which is right about now. Ideally, something kind of close to where we are now, like this, for example, kind of works. Sure. It's not a very large source of iron, mind you, but sure, we'll go ahead and launch a probe. I'm just looking for something that's close enough that our cargo ships don't take forever. What would make sense at some point is actually to relocate the Tycoon Station, let's say over toward, like, Parenti, and then you can just ferry the resources a heck of a lot faster over here. Yeah, actually, that's something I'm really leaning toward. Once we finish out this source of iron, which it's going to be a little while, uh, we probably should just go ahead and move the Tycoon Station somewhere else, and we'll just gather up the resources that much faster. Looking for other good sources of iron. Eh, small one over here. Anything else that's close to Parenti, if we're going to be setting up over there, looks like some silicon, but that's about it. Yeah, not finding a lot more iron right now, which is a little bit scary. Plenty over this direction, holy crud. Yeah, if we can get to the other side of this debris field, there's a ton to be had. What about in the ice field over this... Oh, there we go. Okay, there's a lot of resources up this direction. Um, we could probably move toward Parenti, gather up all these resources, and then it might at some point be worth moving over here toward DeVille 59. Because we already have to do a colonization mission over here at some point anyway, and it's closer to the Protagoras. So yeah, I think that becomes the next big goal. Now the Tycoon Station moving over here is going to take 2.1 cycles. How much battery power do we have? 1.8. 
So that's not quite enough right now. But let's make this the high priority. We want to gather up this iron specifically. And then once this is dealt with, we'll go ahead and move elsewhere. Finish a task around Protagoras. Okay, what do we find over here? We have entered the Protagoras. There are signs of past conflict and floating corpses everywhere. We have found numerous cryopods, probably from emergency crew evacuation procedures. Many of the station sectors are depressurized and heavily damaged. Almost all areas show signs of looting. We have managed to run diagnostic routines by connecting one of the station's terminals. Following Dolo's confidentiality protocols, the mission report on the Protagoras' status has been encrypted and can be analyzed via the tech lab. All right, so this ought to be one of those, sp oh my God, 950 cryopods, holy crud. <laughs> whoa. Okay, um, what I was going to say is this should be my specialized research up over this direction, the diagnostic analysis. Holy crud, 950 cryopods? And remember, every 250 is minus one to your stability. So theoretically, if I could fit all of them on here and get a thousand cryopods, that's minus four stability on the station. That's awful. Okay, we're finally starting to get some alloys. I really think this waste treatment center is gonna help me a lot. It would be great to get more silicon, it would be great to get more electronics, but if this is what keeps me alive, an extra 50 alloys for every 50 waste is outstanding. And we've already stacked up another 54 waste over here, so theoretically this is just a new source of reliable alloys. Fan flip fantastic. Now when it comes to specializing this farming sector, I think we're missing a couple of things. Um, you need, I think, six uh, food buildings inside of this sector. The fusion station is one, the mess hall is another, and then we've got two farms, so we're a little bit short. Um, the advantage of this I don't think is actually like a food production bonus, though that would be quite nice. I'm pretty sure if you get a specialization bonus in here, what ends up happening is you generate like 30% more waste and you consume less water. That's great in the sense that I need less ice. It's also great in the sense that more waste could turn into more alloys. So, there's actually entire builds of this game built around the idea of maximizing and recycling your waste. Well, we finished researching the diagnostic analysis. What do we discover? Uh, the long story short of it is the station's been looted, but there are a couple of sectors that do remain pressurized, which is interesting. We also know that the coordinates of the Remus have been taken by the Atemenanki. Also, we apparently have a PA that wants to talk to me. Hi, Valhalla! A part of me remembers you. Well, that's creepy. He's got the voice of our CEO. That concerns me even more. We were attacked by the UN. Okay. We've launched decryonization protocols. The surplus population will be transferred to the tycoon. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Wait a minute. What do you mean you're going to transfer a bunch of people over to the tycoon? Hold on. Hold on. That's not something I need right now. No. So am I getting this correct that we were attacked by the UN, they stole the coordinates to the Remus exoplanets, they're on their way there, and now I'm going to follow the Antenkananki instead... And what? Fight against the UN over a planet? Why can't we all just get along? Okay, well this kind of changes my objectives up a little bit. Apparently now we need to repair the Protagoras, or Protagoras, I apparently have been saying it wrong this entire time and I apologize. Provide resources to support their crew, mine the ice that is trapping the ship, and then research the telescopic pull upgrade under the diagnostic analysis, which is over here, and that's another 30 science, allowing us to temporarily power up other ships. Interesting. Okay, well, we're currently working on the very last research in Tier 2, which means we're about to be able to do pretty much uh, any upgrades I want in this segment, including some upgrades for things like the steel mill, including some upgrades for the tech lab with the intelligent lab so we get even more science. And it looks like we're finally starting to catch up on some alloys. We just needed to really focus my fleet on gathering up what resources are available. But otherwise, everything's kind of looking okay right now. And I definitely think that moving the Tycoon Station over to Parenti is a very, very good idea. That we'll either need an upgrade for our batteries, or we're going to just build another one. I don't care which, really. Just get me a little bit of extra energy so I don't have any issues. And by the way, how are we doing as far as uh, constructing more of our solar panels? We could probably justify getting another medium solar panel soon. 
but it will use up almost all my electronics, and uh, we need uh, to get a lot more carbon, and I've been too distracted getting other things like, I don't know, iron, so that'll have to wait a little bit. Okay, I would have loved to have finished off this video in chapter two, right? Just kind of end it and launch on, so you only have to spend like two or three videos per chapter, but it looks like with a whole new set of requirements for this chapter here, and I'm assuming a lot more resources, I think it's something like 200 alloys, 200 food, and a lot more other things, plus a colonization effort that we haven't even started yet, there's still a lot more to do in chapter two. So I'm going to end this video here, and hopefully we will find ourselves faring a lot better next time. Hey, look, a load of iron. How'd I miss this? Well, anyway, thank you all very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. If so, I would ask you to hit that like button, leave a comment, make sure you hit that notify bell, and subscribe, and I will see you guys next time.